And inflation goes up from 11.22 to 11.61 uh, between September and October. And that mainly is because of border closure. And I'm saying, OK, um, I am not going to entirely disagree that, yes, because of border closure, that has resulted in some supply shortages, right? A drop in supply because of goods that were being smuggled or dumped into the country. But I also look at it from another side. Who are those who are benefiting? In as much as I do not like the fact that prices went up momentarily by 0.3% between September and October, the beneficiaries are Nigerians, right? And the beneficiaries are Nigerian companies, right? Where we've seen a situation where people now have jobs, right? People, farmers, farmers who produce, for, who produce, for instance, rice, or who produce poultry, or even those who are even who are even, who even legitimately import cars into the country are those that are benefiting from it. So what am I saying, in essence? In as much as I do not like the fact that the, pre, the inflationary pressures are coming up right now, but I'm also saying that it will moderate and very, very quickly. And I'm saying, lag period, maximum, another three to four months, the inflation will moderate and aggressively downwards. Central bank, as a result of the crisis we saw, in 2015 and 16, sort of liberalized the foreign exchange market outside the CBN window, right? And that is what, what we call the, the investors and the exporters window. And that, that market currently operates at between 357, 360, 361, and 362. And that is a dominant market, right, uh, today. Um, and you, we, what we have also done is that the truth is that there is really no 305 transaction. Most of the transactions that happen today, the 305 is like a budget rate, but the, the other rate that you'll be talking about is, is, is at a rate higher, closer to about 330, okay, which is the rate that CBN sells dollars to corporates, raw mat those who are importing raw materials, those who are importing some of the items that we think we cannot produce in the country. The prices range between 330 about to about 350. And of course, they also come at other spot and forward rate, such that by the time you look at the implications of, a, of, a, of delivering 330 to you in 180 days or in about 210 days, the price is effectively closer to about 350 to 360, which is the ultimate price of the market. So exchange rate, really, when you talk about disparity, people talk about disparity in terms of what is the price of foreign exchange at the black market compared to the price of foreign exchange at the official market. And because I say today, you go to the BDCs, you go to your, the non-bank non, non sources, you can find dollar at about 359, 360. And at the bank sources, what I call the other bank or interbank sources, you can only find, you can also, also find foreign exchange at about between 359, 360. So we say that these two markets are substantially converged. <music>